Hey guys, welcome to my studio, welcome to my channel. This year was quite a ride. Just one and a half years ago, I was still a ghost producer making tracks for some of the biggest names in the industry. I made a comfortable living with it, but somehow this still didn't really feel right why making tracks for other people if I can also just make tracks for myself and fulfill my vision as an artist. I quitted everything, started back again from zero, focused entirely onto my own project and also started making these videos to capture this entire process and share it with the world. Since then I've uploaded 209 videos sharing with you my working process and also showing you my life as a DJ and music producer. I produced countless of tracks, I released 8 of them which gained me millions of plays I played gigs here in Germany as well as abroad. So now you can go back and watch almost 40 hours and see how I got here, how I produce my music, how I deal with business things, just hanging out, having a bit of fun and all these kind of things that just happen within one year. If that's too much to ask, just enjoy this little summary of 2016. It all started with last year's New Year's Eve, which was just amazing. Good food, good company and a lot of fireworks. My track Dawning was released at the beginning of the year, which has now more than 2.6 million plays just on Spotify. My Missy Elliott edit got played on BBC Radio 1. I planted my chilies, went to a dark German techno club and had way too many drinks. Celebrated one day of carnival with my friends, escaped the rest of the days to the Netherlands with my girlfriend Vanessa. We had amazing weather. and I touched a really big dog. I headed to Berlin for business meetings, clubbing until five in the morning, and eating a cake and also visiting my favorite place in Berlin. Back in my hometown Düsseldorf, I focused on working in the studio, making a lot of music and taking care of business stuff. I visited my mom's exhibition, drove through snow, I always lost against Vanessa in our schnick schnack schnuck battles. I showed you how to mix and master, I collaborated on a track with Felix. I hid Vanessa's birthday present as a revenge for her really mean April Fool's prank. I played an amazing tour in Norway, first Oslo, then Bergen and in between the most beautiful flight of my entire life. The only downside was that they stopped the music at 3 a.m. Then straight to Israel, visiting my grandma, another exhibition of my mom, hanging out at the beach, staying in a hotel with an amazing view over Tel Aviv and getting lost in Jerusalem. Coming back home just to release my track All About and visiting some of the coolest open air parties, filming some random ducks for no reason, but who doesn't love cute ducks? And fireworks. Collaborating with a lot of singer and songwriters, making an amazing track with Kaylee, then spending two weeks in Thailand with Vanessa, three days in Bangkok with the best view ever, a lot of cool things, a lot of weird things, a lot of Buddhas, a lot of traffic, a lot of weird smells and the coolest outfit ever. Then 10 days in the south of Thailand which was just amazing. Beach on one side and beach on the other side. Perfect. With a perfect hotel, always perfect weather, a cooking class, little islands, little monkeys, big elephants and a beautiful sunset. Back at home celebrating her sister's wedding, then deciding to do daily vlogs instead of weekly ones, which is still up to date something where I really don't know how I'm doing it. I have never thought I will get so far. This is now vlog number 170 something and I thought I might maybe do it for one week. The next day signing my management contract, visiting label and producer friends in Berlin, playing a gig at the Perukaville festival, of course on the small stage but it was still a whole lot of fun. Showing you how to create a mix with Logic, making the edit of Little Jean Jacket, showing you how to master and mix, visiting the place with the worst music, 
hanging out with my special studio guest, showing you my hometown Dusseldorf, more mastering, revealing my shadows of Utrecht, explaining you the origin of my artist's name, more stupid and fun stuff with her, showing you good plugins, how to mix vocals, how to automate, doing a lot of stupid stuff like riding my board behind a scooter, getting drunk, getting drunk and riding my skateboard, telling you who I ghost produce for, releasing my Dancing with Our Hearts track, more producer advices, getting the levels right, approaching record labels, recording bass, having an amazing time at the Oktoberfest in Munich, showing you the ultimate home recording studio, drinking beer on the train, showing you everything about room acoustics, getting lost in the forest, reaching 2 million plays on dawning, having snacks backstage and stage diving, celebrating my birthday, getting hit hard playing paintball, reaching daily vlog number 100, visiting the Amsterdam dance event to come back home the next day and play a DJ gig, talking with you about the DJ Mag 100 results, more stupid stuff, for example skateboarding on ice. Then Vanessa left for two weeks, I worked even more than usually, destroyed my camera, got a new one that I didn't like, maxed out my credit card to get a new one and making my most epic cinematic vlog. Showing you where I started DJing and old footage of that time, releasing my rising track, celebrating it with a lot of mulled wine, giving away samples, a shirt and remixing and mastering, more mulled wine, making a special video about my family, spending the holidays with Vanessa outside of the city, having way too much food, snacks, Nutella and a lot of <sighs> Wow, this entire year has been amazing. Of course there were also a lot of things that weren't that great. I dropped a lot of times this camera. A lot of my tracks got cancelled for very stupid reasons and a lot of other things that I didn't even share in these videos. But all in all a great year, I hope 2017 will be even better for all of us and yeah that's pretty much it. I hope you will have a really really good start into the next year, not that bad of a an hangover and we will see us tomorrow again. And excited for our romantic dinner? As always, dinner.